next on our countdown of planetary disasters, the Great Venus Meltdown. Our closest planetary neighbor, Venus, may have begun quite Earth-like. It was born at roughly the same time and made with the same cosmic materials. But something transformed Venus into Earth's evil twin. If you could penetrate through its thick atmosphere, you'd see that about 90% of the surface of Venus is covered by solidified lava from previous volcanism. And the thick, noxious atmosphere consists mostly of carbon dioxide, and it has an atmospheric pressure about 90 times that on Earth's surface. Wow, that's like being 3,000 feet below the surface of the ocean. That's what you'd feel. Moreover, the temperature on Venus is nearly 900 degrees Fahrenheit. That's huge. It's enough to melt lead. So if a human were suddenly placed on the surface of Venus, he would be baked and very quickly totally crushed. The hellish conditions on Venus could have been caused by an extreme runaway greenhouse effect over three billion years ago. So what happened to the oceans of Venus if they were there to begin with? Well, the sun gradually grew brighter and that led to more evaporation of the oceans, increasing the water vapor content of the atmosphere. Well, water is a greenhouse gas, so that led to a greater increase in temperature, which led to more evaporation, more greenhouse gases, a runaway greenhouse effect that eventually evaporated away the oceans of Venus. Evidence of these lost oceans may exist above the cloud decks of Venus. We know from sampling Venus's atmosphere that there's a high concentration of the form of heavy hydrogen called deuterium. Most of the hydrogen escaped space, and the small dregs of hydrogen that did remain are this special heavy form called deuterium. Venus provides a great example of what can happen to a planet when the climate changes dramatically. If we are able to understand what happened on Venus, we can apply those lessons learned here on Earth. If an eco-disaster evaporated the liquid surface water on Venus, were there living creatures that also perished? That's what one viewer wanted to ask the universe. So Jack Kershaw from Fort Worth, Texas emailed us. Did life once thrive on Venus? Jack, that's a really fascinating question. It turns out that Venus may have had oceans for the first half a billion or a billion years of its existence. If so, primitive life, by which I mean microbes and bacteria, may have formed in those oceans. We just don't know. But on Earth, primitive life formed shortly after the end of the late heavy bombardment. If the same thing happened on Venus, then Venus once had life. According to the greenhouse theory, the surface of Venus became bone dry gradually over millions of years. But not everyone agrees. Some scientists argue that the water on Venus actually disappeared not slowly, but in one disastrous day. Of all the catastrophes that have swept the solar system, perhaps the most puzzling is what happened to Venus, a planet originally so warm and Earth-like it might have harbored life. For decades, scientists theorized that a runaway greenhouse effect slowly raised the planet's average temperature to a scorching 860 degrees Fahrenheit, almost double that of Mercury. But Earth's next door neighbor may have taken a different road to ruin. One way that Venus may have lost a substantial chunk of its water all at once is through a giant impact. A giant impact will hit the planet, basically strip off a huge amount of the outer layer. That provides an incredible amount of energy, an incredible amount of heat, and so volatile elements like water or ammonia or methane are simply lost to interplanetary space, and after the giant impact has occurred, after everything has died down, you're left with a planet that's much drier and made of material that has a much higher vaporization temperature. Proponents of the theory claim the cosmic punch was so powerful 
it actually spun the planet off its axis. Venus spins in the direction opposite that of most of the planets. And we don't know quite why that is, but one idea is that it was hit by a gigantic object early in the history of the solar system, and that effectively either flipped it or just reversed the sense of rotation, depending on exactly how the object hit Venus. The fate of Venus is a telling reminder that even temperate conditions like those on Earth can never be taken for granted. If we didn't know that already, number two in our countdown of planetary catastrophes drove the point home, and this time the whole world was watching.